Jason Residlow reporting outside the General Motors headquarters here in downtown Detroit for the 2010 Business of Plugging In Conference. Coming up, we're going to take you on a test drive of the all-new Chevy Volt electric vehicle. Or pull it towards you? Yep. Oh. And that alerts pedestrians we're on our way, or we're approaching them. We're on battery power alone. So we're standing next to the Chevy Volt here. Um, first, give me some highlights of the new vehicle. Uh, the Chevy Volt is what we're calling an extended range electric vehicle. So it's an electric vehicle that has extended range. It's all electric for about 40 miles of your drive. And once and only once, the battery's completely depleted, no matter if you've been on the highway or city driving or whatever, once the battery is depleted, then a engine generator turns on that's fueled by gas. Next year it'll also be fueled, capable by E85, and will take the vehicle another 300 miles or so. So it's a long distance vehicle, but always wants to act like an electric vehicle first until the battery's depleted. Very good. So how long does it take to charge the battery here? Uh, you can charge it either way by just plugging it into a 120 volt household outlet. Okay. It's three, got three prongs in it. It'll charge in about 10 hours at 120. If you want to do it a little bit faster, you can you can uh, have a charging station, 240 volt, uh, installed in your uh, driveway or in your garage or wherever, and the vehicle charges in about four hours if it's completely empty again. Oh, okay. Both very conven convenient for overnight charging. Very good. Now, do you think the cost to charge this vehicle is less than filling up at a gas station with some of today's cars? Oh, yeah. it's uh, Our calculations are a quarter to a sixth of the cost uh, to drive on electricity versus driving on, a, on, on gasoline. Oh, that's very good. Okay. So how many of these are going to be built to start with? Do you know? Uh, the first year production is going to be 10,000 vehicles, and the second year production is 45,000 uh, Chevy Volts in, uh, by the end of the calendar year 40, uh, 2012. So they'll be rolled out in California first? What about here in Michigan? Uh, there are seven initial launch markets that uh, we start in uh, this fall. We start, and then they expand into those seven markets over the over the first few months. So the first seven markets are California, Texas, New York, D.C., uh, broad area, Michigan, Connecticut, New Jersey. And so we've got sort of pockets everywhere, very large population centers where it's important to build this momentum. Now are those seven going to be all at once, or is it going to be one at a time? No, it'll it'll be pretty. There's about four of them are going to be parallel, starting right away at the initial launch, and that's going to be California broadly, Austin, Texas, Washington D.C., and New York City, uh, generally. And then it expands beyond the cities into the rest of the states, um, and then into Michigan, the Connecticut, and New Jersey as well. Can we go over the price of the vehicle? Sure. Uh, the sale price on this vehicle is $41,000. There is a $7,500 federal tax credit that comes with this vehicle. So at the end of the year, you just take that right off the bottom line of your taxes, whatever you owe, just subtract out $7,500. So that makes the effective price of that vehicle about $33,500. There's also a very, very competitive lease price on this vehicle, $350 a month after a $2,500 down. So $350 a month is extremely competitive if you imagine the kind of technology that's on this vehicle and all the up-level features that are on it, like five years of OnStar and, and just the interior and the touch screens and, and the sound system, the Bose special sound system uh, that comes with it. So. Now the tax credit, I think you said it was 7500 Now, how, how many vehicles is that going to go for? Is that for the first 100000 or the first million? Or uh, To be honest, I don't even know how that's stipulated. Whatever the number and the term must be on that, it's not something that's um, either either specified or not very broadly um, taught and discussed. And I guess that's telling me that it isn't a near term. It won't be uh, run dry in, in the near term. I think it'll last uh, for some time. But I, we, I'd have to check. I just don't know the answer to that. Any other comments about the Volt? Um, Volt is a practical electric vehicle. It, uh, it wants to be an electric vehicle first at all speeds, 100 miles an hour down the Audubon. Uh, it will be an electric vehicle. Three quarters of Americans drive uh, less than 40 miles to and from work a day. We were looking for a way to get most Americans off of gasoline and uh, provide everyone with a car that not only does that, but also lets you drive cross country the day you buy the vehicle just by stopping at a gas station like before. So it's this all purpose, multi function vehicle that lets you be an electric car driver and not sacrifice any convenience that you're known that you're known to and used to. Once the battery power is depleted, you have an extended range mode. And what happens is it's a 1.4 liter four-cylinder engine. 
and that engine turns the generator creating electricity for your electric drive unit. So what's great is you're never stranded with the Volt because you have that extended range capability. Like for the for the gasoline engine, how much uh, would it cost to fill that up for the charger? How much would it fill, cost to fill up the tank? Yeah. We haven't announced the tank size yet. Good to see Good you. Seeing you. So there's no, there's no, one thing, the bolt is plug and play. No special equipment required to do it. You can sit it in the back or you can just get a dryer out of that because um, I mean, you can pop off the car and drive gas. 